All right, so now we can cover the other one-handed weapons. Axes, blunt weapons, and even the short spear. Basically, anything that isn't a sword. So let's get into it. A lot of people see the axe and they think of Vikings. And it's true, you will see a lot of Vikings out there. But instead of hiding behind a shield, I prefer an alternative, more patriotic loadout. Time for the heavy artillery! <laughs> Away with you, protuberance of the flesh! This thing is a devastating throwing weapon. Now I understand why Benjamin Martin was throwing axes at Redcoats through that whole movie. This thing is no joke. <laughs> if you're one of those mercenaries that likes to be cheeky and run around without a helmet, you better be careful, because this axe will split it, your biggest. <laughs> and as a side note, you might run into players who know that the stab on this weapon is incredibly fast and abusive. So if you do, just stab them back. This is the ideal weapon hammer combo for engineer players. But I know there's guys out there who use this just for the pure damage output. It's got a hammer side for smacking on heavy armor. It's got an ax for chopping through limbs. And it's got a spike that a lot of people forget about. Most people who I see use the heavy hand ax, they just use it like they would a regular ax. It's just a heavy version of their regular Viking. They just bunker down with heavy armor and make a heavier version of their standard Viking. What people forget about when they do this is that shields have that new stamina nerf. So if you go against anything heavy, like a Maul, you're gonna be out of stamina quicker than you can say, holy shit, where did my shield go? But I love the heavy hand axe. I made a video about it. it. It opened up a whole new world of engineering for me. It was the closest I got to playing engineer without actually having a toolbox. But we'll cover engineers in uh, another video. This is how mace users see themselves. But I shall unleash my fury upon you like the crashing of a thousand waves! I am untethered and my rage knows no bounds! And this is what it usually looks like. I am the golden god! I reign supreme! I! I! Be gone from me! Your average mace guy likes heavy armor, two shot kills, and the cruel voice. Unkempt, unclean, and unworthy of existing. People usually overlook the mace. They go for the warhammer because they think it's gonna be just like the maul. But in my opinion, the mace is more like the maul than anything. It's throwable just like the maul. And in a lot of ways, it faints like the maul too. So, I don't know, you guys be the judge. Personally, as someone who appreciates the mall, I appreciate the maze. It's a little head crusher. So the Warhammer looks good at a first glance. It's got good reach, it should hit hard, and it's got that spike on the end for just getting into armor. Purge the enemy! Push some back, brothers! I think the only downside for me is that the Warhammer isn't throwable. Slay the heretics! Break them apart! Most mercs out on the battlefield will probably have level 3 armor and a shield if they're using the Warhammer. Die! I think it'd be kind of cool if they added in a war pick, which would do exactly what the other side of the Warhammer does. And that way, we could have a Warhammer that you could throw. 
Yeah. Oh, yeah. And hey, how about making the mall and the Warhammer able to repair buildings as well? It's a hammer. Can it build? The wooden mallet is the beginner NG hammer. If you see someone with it, then they usually are playing a stock engineer because they couldn't afford a toolbox for their own custom build. There's also the team player. The guy who's out there sees a wooden mallet laying on a barrel and picks it up. These guys are awesome. They help the team out. They build up those walls to keep the horses out. I like those guys. Or you get a shitlord. They'll put on full three armor and run around with three of these things, bonking people with mallets, then throwing them at times where you'd least expect it. Oh, you gonna get it now, mister? Yeah. Oh, away. Oh, no, Mr. Bob I got him! I got him! Thank you! I mean, I kind of had to become that guy to get these clips, so it's your boy. This is a better tool for the engineer, and before the heavy hand axe came out, this was the go-to for many battle engineers. Occasionally you'll see guys carry this as a sidearm, because it hits better than just your fists, it's able to build and repair, and I guess if you want, I mean, you could just chuck it, because nothing says disrespect more than getting clocked in the head by a flying metal hammer. Honestly, there's not much to say about this one. Everything that applies to the wooden mallet applies to the blacksmith hammer. I mean, they are pretty much the same weapon. Excuse me. Aside from a few stats. Kill the wabbit, kill the wabbit, kill the wabbit. Yo ho, yo ho, yo ho, yo ho. Oh, mighty warrior of great fighting stock, might I inquire to ask him, what's up, doc? Ever since primitive man walked the earth, the spear's been at his side. Oh, man, I shot Marvin in the face. Why the fuck did you do that? Well, I didn't mean to do it. It was an accident. From caveman days till now, the spear still holds up on the battlefield. Used by commoners and nobility alike, the spear is as basic as it gets. So when Mordow first released, everyone was uploading their cosplay loadouts. It was common to see Roman legionaries or Leonidas from 300. This is Sparta! Didn't take long for people to find out how cheesy the shields were. They just had to hold up a shield, block every attack, and then spam stab everyone to death. And soon, people grew weary of stab spam from the unholy trinity. But yea, one day, the devs on high heard our battle cry and nerfed the shields to lose more stamina versus heavy wielder guys. Nowadays, the short spear is still just as powerful as day one, but my view towards it has changed. I still hate getting stabbed in the face. That won't change. But after using the short spear for a few hours, I've learned to see the fun of it. The stab is powerful, and throwing it is a blast. Wait, what? But if I had to break down the basic, stereotypical short spear user, I think it would look something like this. Your basic short spear chat, running around with medium armor. Shield in one hand, short spear in the other. Rapier as a backup, or a bear trap for lulls. Dodge religiously, and bloodlust so they can survive from fight to fight. Okay, so that's the one-handers down. There's still so much more to cover, and I'm having a lot of fun trying out all the weapons. Oh, fuck me. No! I'd love to see what you guys would like to see me cover next. Leave your comment below. Two-handed weapons, 
two-handed swords, pole arms, ranged weapons, the battle axe, the war axe, the maul, the bardish. There's a bunch out there. I mean, I could even make a video on how people feel about the catapult and the ballista. But anyways, I want to say thanks for watching this far into the video. I hope you enjoyed yourselves. And remember, keep your head on a swivel out there. <laughs> so, after uploading this episode, I'll be streaming on Twitch. So, feel free to stop by and say hi. I'll leave a link in the description. Have a nice day. Later.